Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Virgo, let's get into your readings. If you guys want to get a personal phone call or a text reading, go to my website. The link is in the description box below the video. <clears throat> let's take a look at your February. See what's happening for you in February. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, a couple of jumpers. And here you go. You've got let go. You've got water sign. And you have no. Hmm. Okay. It's not the right time. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Okay. So let's take a look and see what is not the right time. What is not the right time? For what, Virgo? Okay. Making any fast, quick moves. Okay. Let's see. Who? About reconciling with someone. Um, yeah. I feel like... Not now, maybe later. I feel like they're saying don't rush something. Could be with a water sign. Um, you may need to let go. But I feel like the message here is don't rush anything as far as going back to the past or going back to the way something was okay um i feel like with the nine of cups it might be something that you desire or that you wish to have with someone um but just don't speed don't force things to happen the night of swords is all about movement and rush 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 like being really fast i feel like it's more just go with the flow let things just evolve now it doesn't have to be with a water sign it could be with an air sign okay yeah right it's not the right time right now there's some business or other priorities that need to take place in your life or in this person's life or your person if you have someone specific um or if you're meeting someone or you're just dating someone at this time um or will be i feel like the message here is just take it slow okay um you don't want I feel like they're saying you don't want you and another person to be in a struggle situation. Just let things evolve naturally. Go with the flow. Trust the process. Don't rush. I feel like there is this um, reunion or reconciling with someone. It's a wish that two people want and it will happen. But like right now, I don't right now. I don't see it happening, especially. Well, I, February is really what we're looking at. OK. Um, cold out there <laughs> yeah temperance sagittarius energy i feel like you and another person in divine timing will make that connection you guys will just kind of let it happen here i feel like you might have other priorities or you might be learning how to do this to just kind of like slow your roll take a chill pill chillax <laughs> relax you can netflix until later whatever the situation is um it could be with an earth sign as well um take it slow i feel like it's coming okay um yeah it's definitely on its way for two people to come together but it's all like with temperance and divine timing you and another person were meant to i don't know if it's come back to each other with the six of cups um thinking about each other wishes coming true that kind of thing let me see what else does spirit have to say for you okay and you know for some of you okay here's the king of pentacles so this could be your energy it could be a earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn i feel like if you had someone from maybe a really long time ago like really long like maybe even in your childhood or you know your your younger years that you and this person had a connection and then for whatever reason didn't go or didn't pan out or it didn't last however long back it was um there's definitely going to be 
a coming back together and even if you do talk to this person i just feel like the message here is focus on the positives and not the timing focus on the journey and not the end game the end result yeah i feel like spirit just keeps saying the same thing and we're just going around and around okay um there might be somebody here who's not ready to surrender to start over um there might have been some betrayal in the past or something might have ended before you two kind of coming back together if this is a reconciliation is something that's just gonna have to be like baby steps um like don't try to put things back the way uh, they were before because everybody's evolved i'm hearing um let's see what else oh yeah queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles okay so that's either you or another like i said an earth sign it doesn't have to be you know who your person is but there is definitely like uh they're saying like um the clouds are parting the sun is coming back out and this is a match the the king and the queen of pentacles whether they're earth signs or not it's two people who are very logical very practical and both kind of looking at each other watching each other um there is this energy of like you guys maybe you went through something difficult or something hard um for sure or maybe you guys rushed into something and it didn't work out i do feel like you both were meant for each other meant to be together so it will happen definitely it, and it's just a matter of surrendering and saying you know what if it's meant for for me it won't pass me by and it will it will just evolve so i, I feel like spirit's trying to give you some reassurance or it won't pass me by this time okay yeah just take your time I feel like also spirit is telling you to be a bit cautious as well or just to have boundaries maybe you didn't have boundaries last time or the relationship was lacking boundaries um obviously they're needed maybe there was a bit of like um some kind of fallout or betrayal and now you and this person are trying to come back together or you're you will be in february definitely a decision will have to be made here but trust your intuition is what i hear okay let me see anything else okay oh look the three of swords fell um in reverse so that's good this is like healing after a breakup or getting back together so for some of you this maybe it was a marriage or a divorce and getting back together um you know i feel like in order for that to happen a lot of time has had to pass <laughs> there's also um healing after maybe a, a breakup from a taurus um and there's also like the healing will lead to a committed relationship or taking having that healing energy between you and going forward with a, a positive mindset not rushing into something it will actually either turn into a marriage or a long-term committed kind of relationship with you and another person here so i mean i think it looks really good i think it looks really really good let me just get a couple of um love messages here for this what other messages does virgo need to know in regards to this situation passion try something you've never done before so this connection is calling for passion it's not calling for um commitment just yet it's not calling for um rules and regulations just yet that'll come later with the hierophant because that's what that's all about this is calling for passion passion for each other even if this is like i said it may not be a divorce it could be somebody that you knew a long time ago and um for some of you i will say that there there it, it, i mean there is going to be like a passionate draw to, towards each other and a rushing together for sure but um as far as like the commitment thing or you know marriage or the long term kind of traditional kind of a connection i feel like um not just yet there's not it's not time yet so you might be reconciling with someone in february as well okay yeah there's the boundaries so right now you need to have your boundaries which means for some of you um it means to um sl slow yourself down not rush into love 
you know, because when Virgo finds the person that their heart is like telling them this is the person, Virgo just tends, not all Virgos, but some Virgos tend to just throw their cares to the wind because they found the love of their life. And then I don't think spirit is trying to tell you to be like a school marm <laughs> or anything like that, but to just focus more on your passion for the person, um, being together, um, loving each other, or, or feeling that physical attraction and focusing on that more. Okay, so yeah, the boundaries are needed. And there's also an apology coming to you in February from someone or two people apologizing so that might be like breaking the ice as far as the relationship goes Let's see if we can pick up any other signs for virgo okay got another virgo uh, virgo sagittarius and cancer so for some of you i keep feeling like earth signs showing up or it could be water you've got libra pisces cancer again and so Aries and Aquarius, okay? Let's see if I can get you like initials or date of birth of this person. Okay, so we've got someone whose birthday is on the 4th, the 26th. We have the letter I. We have the 19th, the 31st. Let's see, initials and date of birth for this person. Or, yeah, the day. I'm trying to say the day. Oh, what just fell out here? Oh, a Dalmatian. How cute. We got the letter O yet again. The 11th. Um, they could be born in 1972. We've got someone, um, the month of November. They have the letter T. Someone is, could be 39 years of age. We have a Y. Someone born in 64. Someone's 40. Okay. And your charm... For this here is a Dalmatian and they're just telling me like I don't know maybe you guys have done this like a hundred times I'm hearing um, you've done this like a hundred they gave you the hundred and one Dalmatians you guys have been back and forth like a hundred times and um, there might have been like a lack of passion or the passion died out kind of passion is like not something that's sustainable it has to keep being invigorated right um or someone might have a dalmatian i do also they're telling me also that there's something unique about this particular person whom you might have this connection with now it's not often that you see a, a dalmatian i i think i've maybe if not seen them on tv i've just seen only a handful in my lifetime not that they don't exist or not that they're <laughs> extinct but they're a unique type of an animal this relationship might be tremendously unique the person might be, you both might be, you might be a very unique person. Um, you know, the, the inner you, which I wouldn't know because I don't know you. I just know you as a Virgo. But yeah, um, take your time with this, Virgo, and focus on the passion. Okay, let's go on to the next message. You have water oh, sign. Right, let's see what's going on with the water sign. Okay, could possibly be a Pisces. There's a water sign who's very patient right now, patiently waiting. Um, they're, they, have, they're, they have some restrictions at this time, maybe a little bit of some insecurity, but they're hopeful. Um, they're trying to see things differently. Also trying to be a bit more gratuitous, I just heard. Um, uh, more of a giving. This, I don't feel like this water sign is really... Um, they're all outright with their giving for some reason um like they, they they give a little here and there they give but they give a little here and there which might be more than there was before um this water sign looks like they want a, some type of um, reunion with you so like i said it could be this person that we just read um let me see here they're, they're interested to date you or to continue dating you. Let's see what else this Virgo need to know about this water sign. Oh, so there's Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, definitely a water sign energy here. This water sign is a bit more on the feminine side. Um, they keep their emotions within their still I feel like they're still, they're very sensitive, very emotional kind of person, but also quite grounded as well, you know, um, 
that they they don't share a lot about their emotions um yeah see there's the high priestess so they're they're quite i guess i want to say secretive or they just keep things within they're very wise um they know more than they speak they sense things they feel things that's pisces i can't believe all the water that's showing up here um that's a pisces card but it's all water for sure let me see they might have earth in their chart somewhere as well what else does virgo need to know this person has a secret this water sign oh hmm okay bit melancholy are they they hmm they're mourning are they going through some grief or they have some grief that they're not sharing <sighs> trying to gain their strength okay and move on from some kind of grief or sadness let's see maybe some remorse missing you perhaps um all right this person's ready this water sign is 100 percent ready to make some magic happen okay we do have leo here we also have aquarius taurus um so and gem wait did i yeah gemini so i feel like this person i mean what is their connection to you they're obviously significant in your life for some reason virgo three major arcanas let me see what is their connection to you hmm Aries here. They're not really telling me what the connection. Maybe they're a father. It could be a father. Let's see. It doesn't necessarily have to be your father. They could be, or they could just be a father, like a dad, <laughs> you know, um, or someone that's in like a very high position. So they're connected to you in some way. Um, let me see. There's some travel connected to them as well. Okay. So you've got the sun. Wow. So this person has a very positive disposition. Uh, I see them like... I don't know if they were kind of... Like that grief card with the five of cups. I feel like this person's getting over some kind of grief or setback or heart... Emotional setback or heartache. And is overcoming... Um, some emotional stuff and or, or like coming out again coming out of their comfort zone taking the lead a, a very bright positive kind of energy from this person we have aries leo here okay yeah wow i, I see this per, this water sign being feeling like they're on top of the world they can do anything there's a connection with you or to you from this person you being in their life makes them feel like they can um materialize their dreams and that they can make things happen knowing that um things are good and positive and joyful um oops okay so they just gave you the moon yeah coming out of like this dark period i feel like this water sign's coming out of this dark period and i feel like it's because you give them some kind of courage or you make them feel on top of the world for some reason or in some way all right, that moon is Piscean energy, you guys. So they might have like Leo or, you know, Aries and all that in their chart. It might show up in different ways. Yeah, but it's because of you, you know. You're very wise, Virgo, and logical. And when they talk to you, uh, they get your wisdom. And they just feel like just, I don't know, like like you, you're behind them, like you have their back. Okay. Yeah, even when... Even when people are not being nice to them um, or people are being harsh to them, Virgo's kind of like a bit of a protector, okay? Um, because other people, I feel like, around them maybe deceive them or they're really cold and harsh to them. So this could be a father. This could be a brother. It could be a romantic partner. Um, but I don't know. There's something about your wisdom and your logic, that makes them feel like you're not gonna put a sword in their back there's something about you that they feel they can trust okay even when you're being truthful they appreciate that okay so yeah this person i feel like um they have direction 
because of you or in when they're around you or talking to you okay yeah you kind of uh, i'm hearing i don't know if you've said this to this person but i feel like like the, the vibe i'm getting with the ten of wands is that this person feels like the load that they carry is not like like when they're by themselves or with other people they feel like they're only like halfway up the mountain but when they're with you they feel like they're they're right at the top you know like it's only one more step and they can make it that's kind of the energy that i'm getting let me see what else what else does virgo need to know about this water sign or about the connection here past life love okay so for some of you this is a past life love your soul remembers this intense connection and longing so this person longs for your presence in their life like a longing when you're not around it's like they need you i feel like this person feels like they need you all right a couple of let's see we got the letter f no there's no f there but i saw an f um they, maybe they were born in 79 the letter q the letter i again it always shows up it's either an i or an h you can't really tell um uh, birthday of March. Let's see if we can get pick up any other signs for Virgo. Who so they might be a Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Virgo, Virgo, Gemini, and one more. Um, this person has a very high IQ. I just need to tell you that or to qualify that. We have Scorpio, Cancer, and Scorpio again. Okay, let's get a couple of charms. All right. Oh, you've got dragonfly. So they could be born in the year of the dragon. You could be. But dragonfly, this is beautiful. It's a very spiritual. Uh, this, there's something about this connection that's quite rare. Very rare. Very rare and beautiful. I mean, you know, dragonflies aren't rare, but they are purposeful and there's something about this connection that's purposeful that's a, well i don't know that for sure but they just told me they just gave me the word purposeful this relationship serves a much bigger purpose than um maybe what you think or what you believe it to serve like you it's not this person is in your life bringing you the blessing you're in their life to bring them the blessing you have the gifts you bring the gifts Okay, Virgo, I mean, I think that's such a beautiful message. So I don't know who this is for you. It could be a Cancer. Definitely leave a comment and let me know. All right, let's move on to, you have let right, Virgo. Virgo. Let's take a look. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Okay, let's see what's coming up here. Oh, there you go. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles. What else does Virgo? You've got Justice. All your hard work, Virgo, is paying off by letting go. Yep. And you're getting that love offer coming in just let go let go of all the negative hold on to all the positive there's definitely a new beginning coming to you and it's definitely in love the justice card tells me that it things are in your favor all your effort and work that you've been putting in to yourself making your life better having a kind of a shift in your your attitude and being happier to the best that you can just making that decision to be happier is what's going to draw love into you so there's definitely going to be a love offer you've got the lovers you have the king of cups and you have the knight of wands there is hope and renewal <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's like spirits like oh no don't even don't even give them that because they're going to just be like wow this is too good to be true uh, Gemini energy there, Aquarius, uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I definitely, there's so much passion here with the Knight of Wands. I definitely feel like letting go is what's going to bring you happiness, joy. Um, I always like to say two heads are better than one, right? Um, love, long-term, deep partnership, deep love, possibly with a water sign. Or it could be those other signs that I said. Yeah, so there's a decision getting made. And I feel like it's two people making the decision to be together. But there's a very strong, passionate connection between these two people. 
let's see like it's very lusty there's physical oh yeah there you go there's the devil it's like a strong physical attraction between two people it's like crazy let's see like obsessive even to the point where it's like when you guys are together it's not just like simple fireworks it's like nuclear warfare the two of you like it's off the charts physical type of energy here but there's love involved too you know can't get in like the love is like free but the physical together is like just can't get enough of each other i don't know we're going down that road and i haven't even done my only fans yet my gosh for you guys who are members of my only fans channel please forgive me i will get a reading up to you tomorrow i do promise okay yeah letting go of i feel um there's somebody new coming in here which is they are showing me a king of cups so it could be a cancer scorpio pisces um if you are single, you don't have anybody, this person shows up by you letting go and just letting things evolve the way they're meant to. Um, and if you already have a connection, I know like Divinely Guided has a connection with a Scorpio. Yes, I gave you a shout out, could be a Capricorn. Um, there is an energy of like a whole new shift in the person, okay? With the King of Cups, a whole new shift and a change deep feelings positive all right let's see what else does virgo need to know look the fool there's a free energy free yourself free yourself the communication comes in there's passion here so much passion starting this new journey together for those of you who don't have anyone this person comes in looking out at the horizon and all the potential where things could go um having visions making plans together i mean it's so nice like super nice it's super positive if you don't like positive readings feel free to click off <laughs> nothing wrong with some positive readings let me see oh look at this all the wands there's going to be a lot of communication it could be a sag there's going to be a lot of communication cupid's arrows fast quick messages back and forth i mean it's so it's like passion, 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 excitement, excitement, excitement. Let me see if I can find Chinese sign for you and this person. Let's see what shows up here. Oh, this one's already out, out the gate. We've got the monkey, year of the dragon, year of the rooster, year of the horse. There's a monkey again, double monkeys, double horse, year of the snake, year of the ox rooster again double rooster year of the rat and year of the tiger so that could be you it could be this person let's take a look and see what zodiac sign might be showing up here cancer cancer aquarius i hope i shuffle these enough Aquarius, Gemini, Aries. What sign did I not say? Goodness. Leo, Gemini, Virgo. Okay. All right, let's see what numbers and initials we can get for this person. Their name may start with an A, may start with an E, may start with a D. Um, I'm just hearing somebody might be like a paramedic or in the military. I guess you can be both, right? Um, someone's born in 73, someone may be 37 years of age. This person, okay. Someone's birthday's on the 18th. Um, someone may be 53. You are this person, actually. We're also getting the seventh. Someone's born in 1960. And let's get, oh, they just said give you September birthday. September 3rd. Let's get a charm, another charm for you. Oh, you've got a sunflower, beautiful. That makes me feel like Leo energy. It also gives me like summer, summertime and the living is easy. So yeah, sunflower, if somebody likes sunflowers very much or loves sunflowers, just really into the sunflower thing. I just wanna get some Oracle messages as well because I didn't, I didn't grab them. Or other messages of love oracle message for virgo now just remember you guys if you're listening to the full one hour reading these could all blend okay these past 
uh, the past messages. If you're just clicking on and listening to the 15 minute, then go back and listen to the others because they can all be kind of feeding off each other. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Wow, Virgo, that's your message. Accept things. And that might relate to the, um, the first reading as well, but it, uh, the no, but it can also be letting go and just letting things evolve. Okay, yeah, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. A little bit of regret showing up here. Let me see. You also have fate. This here is a destined partnership. Um, denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Some of you might actually be denying this relationship or this love because it's too good to be true. All the passion and the love, but they're saying be patient. Everything will unfold in divine timing which is temperance, Sagittarius, the person in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So it could be you teaching them a lesson spiritually or you learning a spiritual lesson from this person, which is a beautiful thing. And I feel like the spiritual lesson for you is about loving yourself, accepting yourself, Virgo. That's the best gift you can give to yourself is to just be like, you know what? Not perfect, but I am pretty cool. Like I am not perfect, but I'm good enough. Okay, healing. Old childhood wounds and child old wounds, childhood issues need revisiting and need to be healed. So let go, let things evolve. I feel like that's the strongest message here for you. And yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Come back tomorrow and there will be a whole new slew of messages. Alright, you guys, don't forget, click like, share, and subscribe, and do 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 book a personal reading with me. Text reading or a phone call, either one. Alright, you guys, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.